I had some oatmeal, a bowl of oatmeal and omelet this morning, so. Do you like keep track of your nutrition and like what do you eat throughout the day? Well right now I'm definitely on a big weight gain um, pro program, so I'd say just I feel like naturally most people can't eat too much in the morning. I try to I try to eat as much as I can to get some carbs and protein and then big lunch, big dinner with as many snacks as I can in between, yeah. smoothie. I mean, we've got a great uh, nutrition staff and um, just a great staff in general that have smoothies for us all day long. So if I'm not eating if I'm not eating a, huge, a full meal, I'm trying to drink something with calories, eat some type of snack. So, snacks. Favorite yeah. dessert? Um, favorite dessert? You can eat, you can eat dessert. Yeah, yeah. I, can, I can definitely eat dessert. Um, I can't think of anything off the top of my head right now. I guess basically ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, just ice cream. I like ice cream. Nice. I can't think um, of anything specific with that. Oh, it's, it's been great to see your progression this off season. You know, yeah, you're, yeah. You're wide receiver last year and now you find yourself a tight end. Yeah. Can you tell me about that, what Tim Bruce said to you when he told you he was going to move you to tight end? And were you excited for that opportunity? Yeah, no, it was definitely exciting. Um, I mean, he really came up to me just during summer workouts. And just had a lot of good things to say about who I am as a receiver. And obviously, on, on the receiver end, I was I was on the bigger end of, of receivers in general. So, I mean, he just had a lot of good things to say about my size and how I move. And he's like, I've seen. I mean, he's coached. He's coached some of the best guys at this position, Antonio Gates and Kyle Pitt. So, obviously, hearing what he has to say about the potential that he sees in me is really motivating. And, even Coach Bartoloni, who who was in my who was in my corner one time, who was in my corner when I was in the receiver room, um, even said, you know, obviously I love you as a receiver, but I also agree that if you want to, you can go you can go to tight end, and I think it'll be a good thing for you just get on the field more because I mean, you obviously you can see the, the guys that we have at receiver right now. Um, there's a lot of a lot of dominant forces in that room right now, so um, I thought it was a good opportunity for me to just trust what Coach Bruce was trying to tell me and. Uh, just embrace everything he's, he's brought to me with the challenge of becoming a tight end. So. Yeah, did you feel like you were going to get more action moving to the tight ends? Yeah, I mean, that's what he was telling me too. And um, even like even at the next level, he's like, this, this is a position that I feel like you'll excel at at the next level and especially at this level. So obviously hearing that is what you want as a player. And, uh, so yeah, I mean, that, one of the biggest things is definitely the appeal of getting on the field as much as possible. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. So. Yeah. Some action. When you kind of look at like last year and everything that happened, you know, you don't have to dive too deep into it. But what were your kind of biggest takeaways, positive or negative? Uh, that's tough. It was, it was um, tough. It was no, tough. it was a long year. I think positives was just the way. Obviously, I don't, I don't know if any of them are here anymore, but just the way our coaching staff did a good job of keeping the team together and like. As negative as things were on Saturdays for us last year, there was just so much, I mean, it sounds crazy, but there was still just a lot of positivity around the team, and everyone still had their head up about attacking the season, and just getting whatever we could, just out of everything that was going on last year, so, um, and then, I guess, negative, obvious, yeah. wasn't really the record we were looking for, so. New, new opportunity, new chapter. Some of your boys are still here. I talked mm -hmm. to Marvin Ham. I'm just, I'm so excited for you guys to get a new opportunity and mm -hmm. really wear Colorado proudly on mm -hmm. your chest. I'm just so curious, just within this tight ends room, like what that scheme looks like. Of course, you had Sado Traore. He transferred. You know, there's just questions on what this team, what this unit looks like. And can you give me some answers to that? <laughs> yeah, I think um, people are probably going to overlook our room right now. But I think, I mean, I, I think we have a really good room right now. It's me, we've got Eli, um, Caleb, Caleb Foy should be coming back soon. He's as, good, as good as anyone at tight end. And, uh, Coach Bruce is doing a good job of just bringing everyone along. And obviously, he's harping a lot of my player development right now. He's obviously, changing positions pretty recently. So he's doing a good job of just keeping his foot on the gas and getting me up to speed with everything. And especially the other guys in the room, uh, Lewis, Caleb, Eli, are all doing a good job being a great teammate and doing whatever they can, as well as Coach Lewis, our OC, who's uh, doing everything in his power and making sure I'm, I feel comfortable when I'm on the field of practice and getting me to be in a spot where I've got as much confidence as I need yeah. during practice or on Saturdays. I know you can't divulge too much of that scheme, but like, what is the tight end looking like 
on the line of scrimmage right now? What are you doing? You're blocking, you're moving. All yeah, that. We're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're a three down player. Um, yeah. You know, we're blocking, we're, we're passing. Coach Lewis does a good job of getting us involved in the run game, especially splitting us out or keeping us in line for the pass game. So, um, him and Coach Brew together. Uh, there's a lot of experience between the two of them. I've just done a great job of putting the pieces together so that you know the tight ends are in a position for success this year. So. What would you say? I feel like it's you know probably it may be an easy transition from wide receiver to tight end, but what do you feel like you've learned about the position that you maybe didn't know prior? It's a uh, a lot more physical for sure. I mean, obviously you're in line, you're right next to the tackles. It's definitely a lot more physical than. Uh, the wide receiver, the blocking is completely different night and day. Obviously, you're not blocking corners and safeties. You're blocking, you're blocking ends and linebackers. So, um, Coach, <coughs> Coach Brew's done a good job of getting my mind right just to accept that challenge and uh, do everything in my power to be a dominant force in the run game and then obviously carry over what I know from the pass game over to the receiver game. Or from the receiver side over to tight end. So. I feel like you're one of those guys in conversation that's potentially up for a scholarship. Has yeah. Brew kind of put that out on the table at all? Um, I mean, not too much, and you know, I don't, I don't have any problem with that. No, I feel like as a player, it's not even something. Obviously, any walk-ons in the back of your head, but it's not something I'm thinking about day to day. Mm -hmm. You know, my 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 approach is always doing whatever I can to get on the field because. If, if, if I can do whatever I can to put myself uh, in the position for success on the field, then scholarship and all that stuff will come. So mm -hmm. I definitely wouldn't say I think about it too much. So, yeah. yeah. What can you say about Louis Passero? I feel like he really made a jump in the spring game and just emerged as the guy. What, what is he? What is he like? What are his fortes at the position, and why did he become that yeah. kind of first team guy? Uh, I mean, Lou is just a hard nosed dude. I mean, he's everything he does, he does with full effort. Um, I mean, he loves football, so obviously he's, every, every snap he takes, he's playing with passion. And uh, that is definitely someone that I've, I've been watching from spring. I mean, in spring a little bit, and obviously over the summer, just him being one of the guys that's played this position for a long time um, and just helping me get up to speed with everything. And that's just a hard-nosed dude who's going to block the hell out of you in the run game and um, he's going to get open in the pass game. So. Cool. And just, I think, what are you seeing from the offensive line right now? And that whole offensive front. Shoot. Uh, Work in progress? No, no. We, we've got a good old line. I just, I don't know. I just don't have too much to say about the old line. I think, I think we've got a good old line in the run game. Uh, we're going to keep, we're gonna keep two protected in the pass game. And so, I mean, I feel good about our, I feel good about our old line. We've got um, some guys who have been here with experience, like Tank, and then a lot mm -hmm. of good transfers that were playing at their old school. So, I think, I think, I think fans are going to be, happy with what they see with the five guys we bring out starting the line. So. When you're looking at the collection of pass rushers, who is the hardest guy to stop? Or who has been the hardest guy to stop this camp? Uh, I'd say Taj Alston and uh, Derek McClendon, both really really big dudes, hard to hard to uh, stalemate and uh, run blocks. So Th both those guys are just really good. Who's the funniest guy on the team? Funniest guy on the team, Shiloh Sanders is pretty funny, Ben Finiseth. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of dudes in the receiver room. Obviously, I was, I used to be in that room. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of characters in that room. There's, there's a lot of personality on the team, so it's, uh, it's easy to stay entertained around the building right now. So. Who have you made um, good friends with? Who's like your new best friend? I guess you could say uh, Eli Elverton. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously I wasn't I wasn't in the same room with them back in the spring, but since since becoming a tight end, uh, me and him are definitely out there competing every day, but just being great teammates to each other and uh, even even spending time together outside of outside of football just to you know strengthen the tight end connection. I guess so. That's definitely a guy I've been spending I've been spending a lot of time with the entire fall camp. So. Yeah. Out of the entire roster, I mean, we hear guys, of course, like Travis Hunter, Jordan Dominic. There's so many names that you can pull from on this roster. But who, who are people sleeping on at the moment? Who are people sleeping on? I think I wouldn't say people are sleeping on him, but he's always been kind of an under the radar guy. Uh, my boy Charlie. I know obviously he's a really good back. He can do everything. And then um, I feel like people. Not forgotten about, but uh, he's been injured. Caleb, Caleb, Caleb Forty is coming back soon, so mm -hmm. I think people are going to be really excited when he gets when he gets back on the field and um, shows what he has, has to bring to this offense. So that's a really good player too.
Cool. Thank you, Michael Harrison, tight end. You'll see him over on that field in a few future weeks. Yeah. Oh, it was great to meet you. Yeah, Thank you.